The quadratic function d models the depth in meters below the surface of the ocean of this research submarine t minutes after it began the descent. The function estimates that the submarine reached a maximum depth of 427.6 meters nine minutes after. So it is weird. They're talking about depth, which you would think would be negative, but they give us positive numbers. So we're going to stay according to whether it's positive or negative. Since it's positive, we're going to say at nine minutes, we reached our maximum height of 427.6. Then they also tell us that at 18 minutes, we're back at the surface. So that would be over here at 18, kind of like half of a parabola. We're back at zero. Now remember how parabolas function. They did this very intentionally. If they ever give you a vertex and then a point on one side of your parabola, you can extrapolate that, mirror it to the other side of your parabola because parabolas are uh, symmetrical around their vertex. So if nine units to the right is at zero, nine units to the left is also at zero. So they've actually given us a full parabola here. Now, they say at the very end here, what was the estimated depth at 13 minutes? Well, now that I have three points, I can just plug this straight into Desmos. Let's go ahead and open that up. And you already know, I'm going to go to my table feature. And my first point is zero, zero that we just derived. My second point, my vertex is nine, 427.6. And my other x-intercept is when x is 18, we're at zero. I graph this, I remember to make it a quadratic regression because it's x squared. And then this is where we can get a little bit fancy. All we have to do, you can say, oh, look at your graph. Well, your graph is extremely steep, so it's not gonna be easy to look at, but you can do this too. I bring my graph down below and I jump all the way to the left. And instead of y, I make this f of x. I actually don't need my table anymore because I have my function right here. And since I have f of x defined, you can now plug stuff in for your x. So since they want when x is 13 for 13 minutes, I can say, well, when x is 13, I get 3, 4, 3. And they say, let's just see if they want us to round here. They say, uh, what was the estimated depth to the nearest meter? So I'm going to write down here 343 meters as my final answer.